killed her rapist in self-defense. This is injustice. We must end violence against women and girls. And so to, we have here today with us Pari Mokhtari, who is the president of the California Women's Society for Democracy in Iran. She herself is a 30-year activist who has been fighting for women and girls. Please welcome Pari Mokhtari. to be here representing California Women Society for Democracy in Iran. About a month ago, highly trained terrorists attacked a newspaper office in the heart of Europe and killed innocent journalists. What makes this tragedy even more appalling is the fact that such brutality was clocked in religion and shamelessly portrayed as a religious duty. There is no question that the spirit and teachings of Islam reject barbarism. What then is the genesis of such frame of thought? How has this phenomenon traversed from the dungeons of Islamic fundamentalists to the streets of Europe? Such savagery is not new but a well-known entity in the form of the Iranian regime. Such consolidated power and exploited religion to enchain the people of Iran for the last 36 years. Please permit me to better articulate the influence Iranian government has had on the uh, apparently sudden global expansion of extremist Islam. Rooted in their first-hand experience with this phenomena, the Iranian resistance movement in 1993 published a book titled Islamic Fundamentalism, The New Global Threat. In it, the men and women of Iranian resistance in, in, clearly explained how, after losing the eight-year war with Iraq, the Ayatollahs in Iran were planned to spread fundamentalism across the region. I will briefly note key aspects of understanding and then the requirements for defeating extremist Islam. First, we see Islamic fundamentalism in every aspect represents not only a growing threat in general, but it is in effect at war with humanity as we speak. Second, the rise of Islamic fundamentalism has not been spontaneous, but a component of a broader infrastructure, the brain and guide of which is the ruling regime in Tehran. Iranian society is ruled by the religious fascists who brutalize the society, including over 1,200 executions, many of them uh, in public, acid attack on women, stoning women to death during the past year alone in order to remain in power. In Iraq, Iranian regime through its Shiite militias is using the fight against its birth child ISIS and is engaged in ethnic cleansing and genocide. In Syria, Iran is the singularly the biggest enabler of military uh, apparatus, which is responsible for the massacre of some 200,000 innocent Syrians. These atrocities added to the tragic events of Paris executions and tortures in Iran and school massacre in Pakistan are expressions of a war exposed to us by Islamic extremists. Let me summarize by saying that the Mullah's regime in Iran is the central nervous system of Islamic fundamentalism, ideologically, financially, tactically, militarily, and logistically. The ultimate solution must include the downfall of the Iranian regime as the central banker of Islamic fundamentalism. All others like ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and Hezbollah will no longer remain the serious threat to peace and democracy and now are, as they will be uh, deprived of power and influence. Liberal democracies of the West must reach out to secular and democratic voices in the region. No secular resistance movement in the world is better equipped to provide a global, the global community with the antithesis and know-how of addressing Islamic fundamentalist threat than the revolutionary men and women of Iranian resistance. Instead of appeasing or working with the barbaric mullahs in Tehran, it is Iranian people and their organized resistance which must be recognized and empowered. 
No foreign military intervention or war is necessary to bring change in Iran. We must not help the dis dictators in Iran by giving them legitimacy through trade or useless diplomacy. We must stand with the Iranian people and their democratic resistance led by Maria Rajavi as they seek human rights and democracy. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.